Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Builds. And in today's video, I wanna talk about something that's really asked quite a bit. And what is that question you might ask? Well, we're looking right at it. And that is, how many lights can you put on one circuit? And I'm gonna teach you how to figure that out, coming up. Jumping right in, to be able to figure this out and know what you're doing with it, we need to know a little bit of Ohm's Law. And we're gonna go take a look at the dry erase board so we can discuss that now. The first bit of Ohm's Law we need to know is how to figure out watts and how we figure that out is you take your volts times your amps so in the situation that i want to discuss right now we're going to be on a 120 volt circuit we're going to be using a 15 amp breaker and what that's going to equal is 1800 watts okay now we have our watts but there is one rule we need to know and what that rule is is for continuous load we can only be 80 percent so with that being said with our maximum continuous load only being allowed to be 80%, what we want to do is we want to take our 1,800 watts that we just came up with, and we want to multiply that by 0.8, which would be 80%, which gives us 1,440 um, for our watts. That's the number we're going to be using to calculate now for how many lights we can put on that circuit. It's important to note when you are calculating something like this, that you don't want to just calculate what you are using. And here's what I mean by that. If you're putting in standard incandescent light bulbs, for example, where you can screw them in. Now, you might be calculating it out and thinking, well, I'm only going to have a 65 watt light bulb in there, so I'm good. And no, other people might end up using a 75 or even a 100 watt light bulb in that exact same outlet or fixture. So with that being said, what you want to use, the number you want to use for calculating on the wattage, is you want to use what the rating of the fixture you are using. So if the fixture is rated for 100 watts, you want to calculate your load using 100 watts, even if you're only going to be putting in a 65 watt light bulb. I just want to make sure I'm clear on that. You want to use what the fixture is actually rated for in your calculations. Anyway, now that we know all this information and we're going to be calculating our load out at 1,440 watts, Let's come down here and look at a few numbers that I have. Now I've done three examples. I have our 1440 watts divided by 65 watts because we're gonna divide the wattage of the fixture by the actual wattage that we're allowed to use on a 15 amp circuit. And we come up with a total of 22 fixtures. But now say you are using a fixture that's rated for 100 watts. You're going to divide 1440 by 100 watts and you're going to be able to put 14 fixtures on that 15 amp circuit. And if say you're using a 75 watt rated fixture, you're going to divide the 75 by the 1440 and you're going to have 19 fixtures that you can actually put on that circuit. So using the example that we just went over, you're going to either be able to go with 22 fixtures 14 fixtures for a 100 watt fixture or 19 fixtures for a 75 watt fixture. And again, this is all being calculated for a 15 amp circuit. And now just to give you a quick breakdown, if you were using a 20 amp circuit, 120 volts times 20 amps gives you 2400 watts. But again, we have to do the maximum continuous load is 80%. So we have to multiply 2400 by 80%, which is 0.8, and that gives us 1,920 watts. Now we're going to come down here once again. So 1920 divided by 65 gives us 29 fixtures. 1920 divided by 75 gives us 25 fixtures. And 1,920 divided by 100 gives us 19 fixtures. So now you know, if you're doing a pole barn like I have right here with a whole bunch of lights up here, you know exactly how many fixtures you can put on a 15 or 20 amp circuit. Anyway, I hope that answers everyone's questions in regards to how many lights you can actually put on a 15 or 20 amp circuit. As uh, I wanted to try and keep this or make this as informative as possible and also keep it as brief and short as possible. So anyway, with that all being said, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Builds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below, and hopefully we'll see you next time on Bevan's Builds.